Our coverage of Colorado begins in Boulder County tonight, where Happily Ever After got off to a smoking hot start for one newlywed couple. Their ride burst into flames with the whole wedding party on board. They were on their way to take pictures on Flagstaff Mountain. Luckily, everyone got off the trolley safely, but they soon realized something very important got left behind. Good evening, I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us. Melissa Garcia is live in Boulder County where firefighters rushed to the rescue. And Melissa, in all of that chaos, the best man accidentally forgot the rings on the burning bus. And Kelly, the bride and groom didn't know if they would ever see those rings again. Firefighters here rushed out to the scene to keep that blaze from turning into a wildfire, but ended up saving more than land. What began as a picture perfect day for the San Francisco bride and groom visiting Colorado quickly went up in flames. Wedding photographer Sarah Christine Martin snapped these photos as smoke poured from the trolley engine. Fumes billowed high and the coughing groomsmen and dashing bridesmaids made a run for the forest. The flowers made it out, but the rings did not, and soon the bus was ablaze. The party piled into a pickup and made it to safety, but they feared the rings had a different fate. These guys searched for quite a while and we we're unable to find anything. We were like, do we walk away? Do we let the trolley get pulled away and those rings still in there? And we went back said, I said, let's take one more look and see if we can find those things. We thought we were looking for maybe some diamonds, but we found the whole ring. The city of Boulder fire crew who had doused the burning bus found both bands buried in four feet of debris inside the obliterated vehicle. Later on at the reception, firefighters showed up with the best wedding gift the couple could have asked for. Uh, very surprising to us that they survived the fire, honestly. They were covered in black tar. We polished them up and got them back to somewhat back to normal. Somewhat back to normal on a day that for these two was anything but. Yeah, they were very grateful, very grateful. No one was injured, and firefighters here say that going above and beyond was equally as heartwarming for them. We're live in Boulder County, Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Wow, Melissa, thank you so much for sharing that story.